it's Wednesday. Let's make sure I'm in focus. Uh, it's Wednesday, which means it's time for another training vlog. I'm at the gym now. I've got the pups. See? One pup. Two pup. And uh, we're waiting on Jacob to show up with the coffee delivery. Then uh, we're gonna get to warming up and we've got some heavy back squats and then some bench press. And then later I've got to do some track work, which I'm not looking forward to because you all know how I feel about running. But we got to do it because it makes us better, right? Anyway, all right. Oh, look who it is. Coffee's in hand. Thank you. We just got done with two rounds of heavy back squats. Uh, we were both finishing with a single at 95% uh, of our max. It felt very heavy, uh, but solid, and neither of us failed any, so success. And now we're gonna move on to some bench press. Let's go do it. Come on, gang. A couple notes about our uh, bench press. One, we do not bench press very often. Kind of a bummer, uh, but it's just not something that we do a lot in our programming. Um, and also, too, today we are doing close grip bench press, which is why it might look a little weird to some of you. Um, and the point of close grip bench press is, well, your hands are closer, uh, but it's to keep your elbows in and work your triceps more. Um, and so that's why it's gonna look more like a tricep push-up than it is a traditional bench press. Just wanted to make everybody aware so you don't think that I'm a crazy person that doesn't know how to bench because I do know how to bench. Oh, I also forgot to tell you that uh, the bench press was uh, actually supposed to be a Tabata, so we were basically doing three reps every 30 seconds. Forgot to mention that part. But now I've got to do some track work. It's not too much. It's just some 400s, some 300s, some 200s, some 100s uh, with like a one-to-one -one rest pretty much. I'm trying to move fast. Um, and it's kind of hard to vlog while I'm running because I do my running out on this bike path. So of course, I uh, you know I can't really carry my camera and um, run. I mean I could, but I wouldn't be running very fast. And I'm gonna try and um, do the best I can. But I wanted to take this opportunity to give a quick shout out to Dr. Scholes for sponsoring this video. I am using their. I brought an extra pair with me so I could show you guys what I'm doing. Uh, I'm, I'm using their running insoles and you guys know I hate running, but it's very good for me and I've got to do it as an athlete. I have to incorporate running. It's something I've got to be ready for, especially in CrossFit competitions. And now it is time for me to do the running. I got to get this track workout done, get some sweat on, here we go. 
I'm someone who's kind of prone to shin splints. I used to get them a lot in high school when I played lacrosse. Uh, even during gymnastics sometimes um, and I still will get them every once in a while if I do a lot of running or even if I do a lot of double under sometimes I've tried a billion things I stretch my calves I warm up a whole bunch I've tried to switch up my running form it's just something that happens but I find that these insoles help me a lot they help prevent the shin splints and um, relieve some of the pain that comes with it I get shin splints way less often when I use these insoles uh, so now I wear them all the time when I'm running here I'll even show you See, it was so easy to just pop out the insole and um, pop these ones right in. So they're just a really nice thing to have. Um, they reduce the shock while I'm running by, I think, 40%, and they also help with uh, kind of lessening all that wear and tear you get on your feet and your legs when you're running, especially because I'm someone who doesn't run regularly. My body isn't always super used to it, um, so it helps me a lot when I do have to run, like today got all this track work to do. Not only do these insoles help with shin splints, they also help with runner's knee and plantar fasciitis. And they do that by providing what they call triple zone protection. So there's support through the ball, arch, and heel of your foot. So it's a great product. If you guys run, I know a lot of you guys I've talked to you about running as a great way to start exercising. I definitely recommend this product to you. Okay, track work is done. My day is done, it's time to go home. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this was as fun for you as it was for me. Although running is not very fun for me. Um, be sure to like and subscribe. If you missed Sunday's video, you can go ahead and watch it now. And as you all know, I'm currently on a cut, focusing on my diet. So if you wanna catch up on all things nutrition, you can use this playlist. Okay, see you Sunday.